Tony Stewart has virtually done it all in NASCAR. 49 wins, three championships as a driver. He has since become a championship winning owner, and now he can add the title of NASCAR Hall of Famer to his very, very stacked resume. We welcome you back to Motor Mouths, and we bring in a gentleman that joins us for the NASCAR Hall of Fame that just got 88% of the vote. Tony Stewart, congratulations on your induction into the NASCAR Hall of Fame, my friend. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Well, 88%. I want to know the other 12%. Who didn't vote for Tony Stewart? <laughs> what names, Tony? I don't know, but when I find out, I'm going to go throw eggs at their front door tonight. So. <laughs> Your part. Uh, no. <laughs> I know that your career is still going on with the ownership of Stuart Haas Racing and all this, but what does it feel like to be honored and be recognized for what you've done behind the wheel as a very successful race car driver? It's very humbling, to be honest. I mean, there's so many great people that are part of this sport and, uh, you know, that go and participate every week and have for 60-plus years in this sport. So uh, to be a part of it and uh, to have all the great names that are in and, and to know the people that are going to be in, in the future that we're going to be in with, it's just a, it's an unbelievable feeling. But it's, uh, it, it is extremely humbling to, uh, you know, I guess a lot of it is it's just really mixed emotions because I'm still in race car driver mode and car owner mode. I don't, I'm not even thinking about Hall of Fames and, uh, you know, to, to be uh, inducted earlier this year to the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America and, and now uh, going into the NASCAR Hall of Fame. It's just a, a very humbling experience. Yeah, I, you know, I, I want to, you grew up uh, with Indy in your backyard thinking open wheel, open wheel, open wheel, open wheel. Uh, you make that transition to the Xfinity slash Bush, now Cup. And you've done it all, man. You've done it all. But did you ever, was there ever a time when you were driving for the Dairy Queen go-kart team uh, <laughs> that you ever said, man, I'm going to be in the NASCAR Hall of Fame? No, and, and that's, it was funny because Mike Arning, who does our PR, we, we've kind of grown through this all together. I mean, he's been with me since 2000, my, my second year in the sport, and uh, we were joking around and, and sitting there saying, did either one of us even think that this was even something that would be on our radar down the road? And it's just, um, it wasn't, it, it isn't. It's just not, it's something that you don't really think about it from your own perspective and you don't think about the things that you've done in the sport you think about what everybody else has done in the sport and all the people that you've admired and looked up to and and uh, still look up to to these days and and you think about what they've done and, and the fact that you think they're going in you don't think about yourself going in but uh, it, it is really a cool moment it, and and I couldn't think of uh, a better day than to have you know my boss Joe Gibbs and and Bobby Labonte who was my teammate that was the one responsible for getting me to Joe Gibbs Racing uh, to go in with those guys and Waddell Wilson who was a part of uh, Rainier Walsh Racing uh, who I drove for in 96 before I got hooked up with Joe so it's uh, it's really a cool day it's uh, cool to be in with these guys and uh, just a cool moment to, to you know I guess realize and sit back and take a step back from the racing side for just a minute to to think about what have we actually done and what have we what have we been a part of these last 20 years. Hey, buddy, congratulations. Uh, great honor. Uh, welcome to the hall. It's uh, glad to have you uh, a part of it, as we all knew it was going to be. So you've known pretty much that you were going to be a first time ballot. You were going to be right there. But what has today been like for you? I had an appearance this morning in Miraville, Indiana, so I had an Ollie's Bargain Outlet Store appearance this morning and then flew down here. So, uh, And then I'm getting ready for a four-day uh, race weekend with my sprint car Friday through Monday. So uh, it's uh, it's just a typical day in the life, man, other than uh, you throw this Hall of Fame curveball in here. But, you know, it, I, I, don't, I didn't sit here, I can promise you, I was not one of those people that thought that uh, we were a shoe-in to get in. I mean, there, you look at the people that are on the list and that were on the ballot to go in. Uh, I mean, I, th I think deep down I knew eventually we, we would end up in the Hall of Fame, but uh, to look at the people that were in, I, I don't even think you worry about when you get in. I, I don't think it's important to be a, a first year uh, nominee and then get voted in. It, to me, that wasn't really important. It just, uh, you know, uh, to hope that one day you get in here is the important part. But uh, all the people that were on that list, you're like, man, you wish all 20 of those guys could get inducted because there's a reason they were on that ballot. So uh, just to, to the fact that we got inducted our first year here is, is something that's really special to all of us. We, we appreciate your time with us, but I would imagine there's a lot of texts and phone calls. What about your hero, A.J. Foyt? Have you heard from him yet, Tony? 
No, nah, he's probably taking a nap somewhere. He's probably had his pudding <laughs> cup and had, having a nap right now. But I'm sure I'll get something from him. He's uh, he's busy getting ready for uh, the Indy 500 this coming weekend. So uh, I know he's busy, and I'm I'm wishing him luck and you know all of our our buddies up there with the the, the Indy 500. But you know we got an awesome weekend with the Coke 600 down here too, and I'm excited for my four drivers as well. Hey, I know you say it doesn't matter. I mean, there are drivers that have the credentials, and and I fully believe that. You should have been you know, nominated 100%. So if you'll hang around there till this show is over, I'll come over there and we'll go find these people and find out. It wouldn't be the first yeah. time we've been Perfect. in trouble together, would it? Yeah. Don't worry. The, your your former PR girl and my uh, former employee, uh, she's, she's going to drag me around here for a little while, she says. So I think I'll be here when you're done. <laughs> I'm curious to know. You're a NASCAR Hall of Famer now, but as a Hall of Famer, what is your view of others that are about to become into the Hall of Fame? What's your criteria? What do you think is Hall of Fame worthy in a driver's career or any personality that's being considered? Well, I, I think it's not only what you do on the racetrack. I think it's what you do off the racetrack. It's what you contribute to the sport. I mean, there's there's a ton of drivers that have won races. There's a lot of drivers that have won championships, but there's there's a lot of people that have made their mark in the sport, whether they're a driver, an owner, a crew chief, or whatever. Uh, a lot of people have contributed to making this sport what it is. And, um, you know, I, I think it just goes more, I think there's more to it than just stats uh, of what you did on the racetrack. I think it's what you've done off the racetrack as well. Well, we congratulate you yeah. again. Thank you so much for joining us. Man. And enjoy the weekend. I know that it's going to be one to remember for you for a long, long yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, it will be. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of bumping and banging around this weekend, so we'll have a good time. <laughs> that, my friends, yes, Tony. is Thanks. NASCAR Hall of Famer Tony Stewart, one of the five that was announced moments ago as being inducted into the 2020 class of the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Hey, Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.